These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hi there, I'm Kaylee O'Kelly with your afternoon update from ABC 15 Arizona. A subdivision under construction is destroyed, sparking around 1130 last night near 59th Avenue and Baseline. Phoenix Fire telling us they found multiple homes fully engulfed when they got there. They had to call in crews from seven other cities to help fight those flames, and they did run into difficulties getting water to the flames. The investigation task force working to learn a cause and ABC 15 promising to stay on top of this and what this means for the neighborhood and the homes that were already sold. A big announcement from the Biden administration, $6.6 .6 billion in federal funds heading to the Taiwan Semiconductor Company. It's currently under construction in North Phoenix. The preliminary agreement does include the building of a third fabrication plant by the end of the decade. Biden visited the TSMC site in December of 2022. Apple's CEO said then that all of its chips would be produced there at the plant. We are investing in a stronger, brighter future. We are planting a seed in the Arizona desert. And this comes just weeks after the other big announcement and visit from the president with eight and a half billion dollars in federal funding headed to Intel and Chandler. This is the start and ABC 15 is committed to sink on top of these announcements and how the companies will utilize the funding. Tax days one week away, the longer you wait, well, the less time you have to sort out any possible issues. Our consumer reporter John Matarese has advice for last minute filers so you don't waste your money. We're counting down now till April 15th and whether you file by tax day or you request an extension, the key is to file on time so you can avoid penalties and other costly mistakes. It's crunch time for Gina Pinto and her employees at this Liberty Tax Office. She's helping last-minute filers like Adam Bizak. You will be surprised how many people wait. Every year we see people walking in the door at 11 p.m. on April 15. Which can create a host of problems. A lot of people don't bring uh, all the documentations that they need. Just as important as filing on time, Mark Steber with Jackson Hewitt says don't lose sight of the need for accuracy. He says if you're still waiting for a W-2 or 1099, don't assume it's coming. Track down any missing forms by reaching out to your employer or other issuer. And just because you didn't get it doesn't mean you can leave it off your tax return. Another common mistake, thinking an extension gives you more time to pay. If you're going to owe taxes, you have to have those paid in on time by tax day April 15th or run the risk of penalties and interest. And if you're anticipating a refund, there's really no reason to delay. For last minute help in person, Mark says watch out for fake tax preparers who guarantee a refund, won't tell you the refund amount, or refuse to sign your tax return. Whether you're doing it yourself or visiting an office. No, don't wait. No, no. don't wait. Or rush and make mistakes. That way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris. Well, speaking of money, someone here in Arizona starting their week is a millionaire not winning the $1.3 billion Powerball jackpot. But hey, they did match five numbers to win a million bucks. Here are the numbers here. Check them. 22, 27, 44, 52, and 69. The Powerball is nine. And as soon as we get an update on where this ticket was sold, oh, we're going to tell you. Don't worry. Our Arizona Coyotes bringing the fire onto the ice this weekend after beating the San Jose Sharks in a 5-2 to two win. They're going to try to keep the winning streak going here as they head to the Pacific Northwest to take on the Seattle Kraken tomorrow night. Our coverage begins at 630 on Arizona 61. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Temperatures climbing into the upper 70s here on this Monday in northern Arizona. It's a mix of 40s, 50s, and 60s. We'll see a very slight chance for showers in spots like Yavapai County. A chance for a few snow showers along the rim too today, but accumulations look minimal. We're talking maybe a dusting at best in spots like Flagstaff. We'll have to watch the clouds, though. Of course, it's eclipse day, so we'll see the clouds through the morning. Then it looks like they thin out a little bit late morning, just in time for that eclipse. So maybe a passing cloud or two by then, but overall seeing more clear by then before clouds move back in. And then again, this afternoon, we'll be watching for some scattered snow showers along the rim, but minimal impacts overall. Winds then pick up tomorrow. Temperatures will climb into the mid 80s on your Tuesday, then upper 80s by Wednesday. And look what's happening Thursday and Friday. We're going all in into those 90s, mid 90s, Thursday and Friday. But luckily, at least this time around, they look short lived. We've got another disturbance to watch early next week. That'll start to cool us down this weekend back into the 80s, Saturday and Sunday. 
We have another update for you tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at abc15.com or by downloading our free ABC 15 mobile app. Make it a great day. These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.